Um, so today uh, we're going to talk about animal science and how does digestion work. So my name is Nikki and I'm the extension educator in Bannock County. Um, I have a picture up here of sheep, which are ruminant animals. And so we're going to talk a little bit about um, the different types of digest digestion in livestock. Oops. Okay, so um, first we'll go through uh, University of Idaho Extension. So it brings the knowledge and research of the university to you where you live um, when it's convenient for you. So um, some of the issues that we work on that are important to you are food production systems, 4-H youth development, horticultural and, and small farms, community development, nutrition, health and wellness, forestry and natural resources, and water. So then it's going to play um, a show uh, or a video for you for 4-H. Um. Idaho youths are learning about science, technology, engineering, and math through fun, hands-on activities offered by the University of Idaho Extension 4-H Youth Development. From straw rockets to robotics and aerodynamics to drones, 4-H is preparing Idaho's next generation to solve tomorrow's problems. Okay, so um, just a little bit about me. I work in Bannock County, which is in the Eastern District of Idaho. And so it's located, um, Pocatello is our uh, county seat. And um, some of the things that I do in the county, I'm the 4-H Youth Development Educator, so I'm 100% 4-H. And we have our Alpine 4-H camp that is in the upper right corner that we take youth to. Um, we also do our 4-H fair, which is in that lower right corner. And this year, my kids, we added uh, chickens to our sale at the fair, and so that's one of our chickens that my kids raised and sold this year. And then I also teach um, after school and in school enrichment. And um, in this picture, I was uh, working with a homeschool group um, teaching dissection. So that's a pretty fun, interesting topic. But today we're going to talk about digestion. Um, so what is digestion? What do you guys think digestion is? Does anybody have anything? Okay, so um, digestion is what takes place when some an animal, um, they eat food, and so it starts breaking down when they start chewing it. Um, right at the beginning. And so that's the process. It's broken down into smaller units that the animal can use to use for muscle or like protein and it uses to gain fat or um, other things that it needs to absorb into its body system. So yep, breaking down what is taken in. Thanks, Summer. Um, so there's two um, major types of digestive systems in livestock. So I have them up there, monogastric and ruminant. Um, and we'll talk about those in a little bit, uh, but we'll go back to what are the five uh, major functions uh, that the digestive system performs? Um, can you think of them? So the first one is, is taking in food, which some are, um, wrote down first, um, and then, then what else do you think are the five major functions? So the second one would be storage. Yep, um, elimination is the last one, good job. And third is digestion, and then fourth is absorption, and then Danielle had elimination on there, so. That's awesome. Um, so those are the five major functions. And then there's monogastric and ruminant. 
Do you guys know what the difference between monogastric and ruminant means? So we're going to go to the next slide and hopefully that'll explain it a little bit better. So ruminant are cat like cattle or sheep. Um, they have they still have one stomach, but there's four different compartments that the food goes through. So um, a ruminant still takes in food just like a pig through its mouth and starts chewing and um, digesting. And so then it'll go into the rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abomasum. So those are the four different compartments that are in a ruminant. And so they all help continue to break down food um, in the rumen, which is the biggest um, compartment in those four different compartments. It has um, different microbes in it that help break down the food into smaller bits that can be used by the animal. Um, and then the abomasum, which is the last part of the four different um, compartments, and that's like a true stomach. So that's similar to the pigs, which is down here, because it has, the abomasum actually does have acid in it that helps break down the rest of the food. But um, something different about ruminants is they regurgitate their food several times and chew it up to break it down into smaller pieces. So that's why you see a cow chewing their cud. Um, and then with the monogastrics, uh, they have an acid stomach, which is like humans. And so they take in their food um, it goes into their stomach and breaks down. And then their small intestine and large intestine help absorb the rest of those nutrients into their body. So um, we're going to do, let's see what my next slide is first. So um, we're going to do an experiment. So I'm going to end the slideshow really quick. I'm going to stop sharing. So um, I have a helper with me today. So this is my daughter, Idri. And so she's gonna help me. So we're gonna have a few different things. So we have three different Ziploc bags. You wanna hold one of those? And we're gonna have, what we're gonna do for this experiment is um, we're gonna have a Ziploc bag some liquid. So we have three different types of liquid. Do you want to show them what liquids we have? Um, so what's this one? We have soda, um, water, and orange, orange juice. juice. Yep. And so, and then we have um, pieces of bread that we've sliced and quartered so that we're going to put one piece into each um, Ziploc bag. So what do you guys think the Ziploc bag would represent? Yep, stomach, good job guys, awesome. So this is gonna represent our stomach and um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put the bread into the bag. Do you wanna put a slice of bread in there? Okay, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna put a slice of bread into each bag. So what do you guys, what does the bread represent? Yep, the food, good job. So, and then what would the liquid represent? Yep, stomach acids. So for a monogastric, it would represent the acid in our stomach. In a rumen, it would, could represent the microbes that are breaking down the, um, the food in their rumen. And it can also represent the acid in the abomasum. So there's several different things it's representing. So now we're going to add, so we'll add, do you wanna add the soda into there? So we're gonna add some about, um, three ounces into the bag. 
Okay, that's good. So now um, we've added that in. So we're just gonna let it sit in the stomach. So we will come back to that one. We're gonna add the orange juice in. There you go, a little bit more. Perfect. So now we have the orange juice in there. And the last one we're going to do is add the water. Oops. Okay, so now we've added all three of them. And we are going to let them sit for a second and then we're going to look at them and observe what's happened. So, um, Okay, so we will go back to the soda. So I don't, if you guys can see this, what do you think has happened to it? Has anything changed? If anything, it's gotten more soggy, so it's so definitely soaked up the liquid. Um, the orange juice, it's kind of made the bread turn orange and it is really soggy. Um, it's more soggy than the soda. And then this is the water. So um, it's definitely soaked up the all the liquid. So um, now I'm gonna have Idri, I'm gonna have her squish and squeeze the bag. So I'll have you lift that one up and then squeeze it. So this is kind of like the stomach, yep. So this is like the stomach is working um, to help break down. So the muscles in our stomach help break down the food. So that's what her hand is representing right now. Okay, I'm gonna try squeezing that one. So we're gonna squeeze the orange juice. See what happens with that one. There you go. Okay, and now this one is the soda. Um, so Idri, um, what do you which one do you think is breaking down the fastest? Um the orange juice. The orange juice. So that's interesting. So um this experiment, um, what you're looking for is just some of the questions to ask is like, how is this, what different types of liquid can break down the bread faster? Um, what do you think about the water? Um, the slowest. The slowest. Okay, so maybe it, um, there's some reaction happening with the orange juice and the bread, and then even the soda and the bread is breaking down a little bit faster. Um, so just like our stomach, um, our acid helps break down the food faster. And then in a ruminant, their microorganisms are helping break down that food so that they can get the nutrients out of it. Um, so um, the next thing, so um, we're going to talk about is so let's go back. So the five basic function of, of digestive system. So it's food intake, storage, um, digestion, absorption, and elimination of waste. Um, so with this, we can look at um, this experiment is great because um, it's a good hands-on just to see how things are digested once they're intake, once you intake them into your body. Um, and so you can show exactly what's happening. Um, and that water definitely didn't break it down as easily as the orange juice and the soda. Um, so uh, we talked about this a little bit. So what type of digestive system do humans have?
monogastric, correct. Yep. Um, so, and then what is a livestock species that has a similar stomach to humans? Um, horse, kind of. They have a little bit different digestive system, but that's um, pretty close. So a pig, that's a really good one. Um, horses, they actually have a cecum that helps kind of digest more similar to a ruminant. So um, their digest digestive system is a little bit different, but um, somewhat similar. Uh, it's, it's kind of in between a monogastric and a ruminant. But a pig, that's definitely a monogastric. Um, and then uh, sheep and cows, they are a ruminant. So that means they're digesting though they're um, that's why they can eat plants and get those nutrients out of the plants easier than we can. So um, let me share my slide one more time. Oops. So, so that's kind of, that's what we learned and what we can reflect, reflect on. So why is this so important though? Um, are there other foods? So I kind of just actually just talked about this, but are there other foods that are harder to break down than others? And yeah, plants are a lot harder to break down, especially for us. For cows, it's a lot easier because they have that help from those microorganisms that are in their body. And they're actually doing the hard work for the cow and breaking down that cellulose um, and that plant material that's really hard to break down for, for even us. So we don't really break down that stuff as well and get the nutrients out of it like a cow or a sheep does. Um, so I guess that kind of leads into why do ruminants have four um, compartments and monogastrics only have one? Yes, goats are ruminants too, that's correct. So ruminants have those four compartments so that we, they, cause they eat all of that cellulose and that um, plant material. And so it's super helpful for them to have um, those four compartments to break that material down. Um, so on this slide, I have a YouTube video and um, I can, I can put it in the chat also, um, but it will take, if you want to learn more about, um, ruminant animals and that, and how they break down food, um, and it can be digested, uh, this is a great resource for you. It's from another land grant university and, um, they're talking about how ruminants digest food. So, and another great resource, um, if you guys want to use this. This is our 4-H animal science lesson plans. Um, so it has, you can find these online. It's a, um, it's a Pacific Northwest um, published curriculum. Um, anybody can use it. It's free online and the lesson plans go through everything from the supplies, your preparation, and exactly what you would talk about during the lesson and then um, further information if you want more resources. So they're great activities to use um, if you wanna learn more about animals. So I will share my slide one more time. So, and I think that's it for me today. So thank you guys.